Thank you for taking an interest in Revenue Point of Sale. We will be reviewing Revenue Restaurant for Windows, which is now available for all restaurant environments. Please visit us online at revenue.com, R-E-V-O-N-U, for more information. Let's get started with navigating the main screen. This is where you will go for all of your basic daily operations, everything from taking orders to clocking in and out. First, let's explore the dine-in feature. Here you will see the table layout. Each unit is configured based on your specifications. This will allow for an exact replica of the restaurant, making identifying tables easy. For larger establishments, we can add additional floor plans in this section here. Let's go ahead and place an order. Start by selecting a table. It will then ask you how many customers are at the table. This is one of our optional prompts that we can set up for you when we're configuring your unit. This will then bring us to our menu page. To the left, you're going to see the categories, and to the right, you will see the menu items. There are a couple different ways you can place an order. You can simply select the item, or if you need that item associated with a specific seat number, we have two options. Go to this icon, and it'll bring up a picture of the table and chairs, and you can select the seat that way, or simply use the plus or minus symbol to bring up the seat number. Once you have the correct seat number up, select the appropriate category. Then the item you wish to order. This will bring us to our modifier page. Keep in mind, each unit is customized based on the specific menu and can have as many modifiers as needed. Go ahead and select your modifiers. When you're satisfied with your order, select Finish. Now you will see the order showing the seat number and the modifiers. Let's go ahead and place an order for seat number two. We can see here it will not allow you to finish because you need to pick a sauce option. Once you're satisfied with your order, simply select order to send it to the kitchen. Now you will see that the table is highlighted, indicating it is occupied and an order has been placed. This unit has been set up to display the booth number, number of guests, and total bill. As each system is customized, we have additional options such as server's name and elapsed time. Let's take a look at some other features on this page. Here you're able to put customizable features. This unit's been configured with our move or join option. This allows you to move or join tables. You're able to link tables. This is beneficial for when a customer is moving from a bar to a table and wants to take the tab with them. You're able to see reservations or if there are customers waiting. We have a quick serve option here for to-go orders. You can indicate that a table is ready to be cleared or it needs service. You can also tender or settle the check from here. Select tender and then select the table. From this page, you're able to pick your payment options and you're also able to split the tab evenly. Some customers may want to only pay for what they ordered. For this, we have an option here where you can split the tab based on what the customer ordered. That's when putting in the seat number is beneficial. Let's go ahead and settle this tab. Select tender, select the table, select your payment option, enter the amount. It will then give you the amount of the change. This is an optional feature here if you're using gift or loyalty and if the loyalty program is receiving points. You will now notice that the booth is no longer highlighted, indicating that it's open and ready to be seated again. Let's go ahead and close out this screen. This will bring us back to our main menu. Now let's take a closer look at some of these features. 
we have a quick serve option. This is going to be similar to our dine-in minus the table layout. It's ideal for takeout and establishments that do not have dine-in seating. Here's our delivery feature. Let's take a closer look. Our units integrate with a caller ID box. Once you initially enter the customer's information here, every time that phone number calls, it will automatically be populated. This will save time and reduce errors. You're also able to place an order from this screen. Let's take a look at our delivery list feature. This is going to help you keep track of all your deliveries. You'll be able to see if they've left, if they're on the way, or if the delivery has been completed. Let's take a look at our recall feature. This is going to bring up tendered checks. You're able to void them, refund them, change payment method, or reprint the check for a customer. You're also able to tender any open checks from this screen as well. We have cashier in and cashier out features that will help you track the money going in and out of your establishment. Our tip adjustment feature is where your staff will add their gratuity. Once gratuity has been added, it will be highlighted. Go ahead and add the amount, and then you can print the check. We have a gift card feature here that will help you track and add new gift cards. We have a cash draw feature, which you would utilize if you were going to open the cash draw for any other reason than to tender a check. You would indicate the reason, and then open the cash draw. Here's where your staff will clock in and out. You enter your password, clock in. We also have pay in and pay out features. This is to help keep track of money going in and out of the cash draws that isn't for tendering checks. If we're going to pay out, we have a reason. Put the amount. And now we know why the draw is short $40. We also have a safe mode feature when you want to lock your unit. Simply go to safe mode and your unit will be locked. When you're ready to regain access, enter your password. Let's take a look at our bar tab feature. We have two different modes, bar mode and personal mode. Bar mode is going to be perfect for a fine dining environment, whereas personal mode is ideal for a nightclub. To set up a new tab, select New. You can enter the customer's name, or if you don't have a name, you can enter a description. These features are completely customizable based on your specifications. Select OK. Now you'll be asked to enter a pre-authorization amount. Swipe the customer's card and select OK. Now you're ready to place an order for that customer. Also on our main screen, we have a catering feature. We are able to track all of your catering. Now that we've taken a look at all of our main screen features, let's move on to announcements. This is where you can put any information you want your staff to be aware of, such as promotions, daily specials, upcoming events, or reminders like don't forget to cash out your tips. You can also keep track of catering from here at a quick glance. The operations section will allow for effective management of your restaurant without having to access the back office. Here you'll find a training mode market price menu items such as fish that change daily, you can perform a gift card search, simple menu search to find an item, view what employees have clocked in and out, see orders on hold, or do an edit blind close. You would use this feature when you need to close a register without cashing out. 
We also have easy access to our most popular reports, such as sales totals, daily cash out reports, or a simple business summary. Customer management is a snap. You're able to view or add members and VIPs here, or you can see open house accounts from this screen. For everything you need to manage all aspects of your business, go to the back office. To get there, simply go to this icon. Keep in mind, only employees with the appropriate security level will be able to access the back office. When your system arrives, it will be set up based on the parameters you provide it. If you need to alter or add anything, most of this can be done from basic settings. Here you will see employee management, menu management, including modifiers, POS screen layout, kiosk setting, item management, where you can utilize our recipe builder, vendor management, carryover manage, and other miscellaneous settings. Now, let's take a closer look at some of the other back office features. For employee management, you can go to this tab. Here, you can set up levels of access, add new employees, and organize scheduling. To set up a security level, go to Job Groups. Here, you would enter the job group, select a security level. Level 1 would have complete access to the system, and level five would just be utilizing it to clock in and clock out. You're also able to enter basic pay information for that job group. To add a new employee, go to employee management. Select a job group, enter the employee's information, and you're even able to upload a picture. Next, you're gonna set up the security level. You would either use the job group setting or pick a custom one here. Enter password and confirm. Set up the payroll information, put in a description, and lastly, you'll see our paychecks tab. To make payroll keeping a snap, we've integrated with paychecks. But don't worry if you don't use them. Simply export the information and use the payroll system of your choice. Another frequently used feature of the back office is menu management. You can access this in two places. Under basic settings, you'll see a variety of tools to help manage your menu items. Or, if you just need to view, add, or edit category or menu items, use the menu tab. Under managerial function, you'll have quick access to everything you need to help run the restaurant more effectively. You're able to view, add, and edit the announcements, keeping your staff up to date for any upcoming events or reminders. Add reservations, manage your gift cards, and quickly view payroll, expenses, and time cards. To make sure that your restaurant is running as effectively as possible, use our inventory management. You are able to easily keep track of customers, send out purchase orders, and view daily reports. Simply select a date, and you're able to view all the sales for that day. For more detailed reporting, go to Sales Reports. Here you will see a variety of reporting tools. Since our software was developed in-house, many of the reports that you see here came from merchant feedback. Our team is always open to suggestions and is committed to fulfilling our customers' needs. And to make viewing those reports a breeze, just go to the Send Email tab. You're able to select the reports that you would like to see, enter an email, and you're all set to get them sent to you.